Let's paint some tree men. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today I thought we would paint, well I would paint some, well one of my tree men. I've cut out all the boring parts, I've glued them, cleaned them up and I have black undercoated them. I use a matte black spray paint to do so. And today I just thought we'd get onto the exciting part of actually painting them. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So without rambling on, let's just crack on, shall we? Okay guys, so for the first colour I'm going to be using a burnt umber uh, acrylic paint and it's just from a company called Meden. Meden, I think that's how you say it. So I'm just going to be just dry, well, just dry brushing, quite heavy dry brush all over the figure. I'm just going to get him dark brown. So I'll put some in this little glass jar and I'm just going to be dabbing my brush in and just slapping that paint all over the figure. So I chose a black undercoat just because I wanted to really give my figures some definition. And I just think the black just brings out the detail a lot better than say just a straight brown undercoat would. Just gonna get all into every bit of the figure that I can. Really catch all the detail. So I am going quite heavy, just because they are tree men, so they're meant to be brown. So I want to really get that earthy brown. So just a simple brown undercoat. So I'm going to let that dry and then we'll move on to the second colour. Okay guys, so my second colour has finished drying, so let's move on to my next colour which is a chocolate brown so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry brush it all over just to give the figure a bit more of a brightness a bit more of a warmth so yeah that's what I'm doing there guys so I'm just again dry brushing it on um, so this is just the way I'm painting them just for anyone who's interested you know, I'm obviously not a professional painter or anything. I'm literally just starting, really. I've never, ever, ever painted anything like this before. So this is quite new to me. And so I just wanted to show you guys how I painted it. You know, I don't claim to be any good at painting. I'm just showing you guys. I'm sure it might be fun to film. So, yeah. So just to let you guys know, I have got, um, I've got the tree man on a shot glass, like a disposable shot glass, just because uh, it's just easy to hold while I'm painting. Also, I don't know where this brush is from, but this is just a brush I'm using. Just a big, fluffy, flattish, flattish, <laughs> flattish brush. Um, just because I find it's just really easy to just undercoat with. I tend to use the uh, the more like ruined brushes. I tend to use them a lot more than like perfectly straight brushes unless I'm doing detail. So yeah, it's just, I don't know, I'm a bit weird. <laughs> okay guys, so that is just the dry brush done. Uh, I think that looks really cool. Just catching all the depth, and yeah. So I'll let that dry. That shouldn't take too long. Should only be a couple of minutes, and then I'll move on to the next colour. Okay, guys. So that colour has dried now. So I'm going to be moving on to my next colour, which is an even lighter brown. <laughs> I have no names for these browns, so I do apologise if you were wondering what they were. But most of my paints are in a, like salsa jars. <laughs> so I have no idea what that what it's called. 
but yeah so I'm gonna be really light with this dry brush so I'm just pretty much getting off all the paint I can um, and then just gonna lightly just go over and pick out any bits sticking up just to give the figure definition so it's actually really enjoyable to paint these you can't be honest like it's fairly simple so far also I, I don't really go for um like using loads of different brushes and I just like to keep it really simple so I'm just using one brush because uh, I, ain't, I ain't that talented <laughs> so I'm just really like tapping out all the paint just to put on just like a slight amount just so I can pick up all like the details like all the vines and all the stuff on them just pick up anything that's sticking out really and that is I think that is pretty much that dry brush done. I can move on to all the fun, the really fun stuff now. Like um, painting the mushrooms and doing stuff like that. Can't, actually can't wait for that, it's going to be so cute. Okay guys, so the next colour I'm moving on to is, the, is a pale primrose, which I'm just going to be using to just highlight all the surface uh, branches or twigs, whatever they're called. <laughs> So I'm just literally getting the slightest tiny amount of my brush and just dumbing it in straight into my lid. Just literally going for the lightest dry brush ever. Like so light. Just want it to be really faint. So I'll just go in. And all I want to do is just pick up anything that's sticking out. Just pick it up. It's like so this is like a highlight and these are the this is from this is just a Wilco emulsion test part that I'm using if anyone's interested again still using the same brush because you know I like to keep it simple this is actually like one of my favorite ways to do highlights because I feel like it's just really easy and simple and you don't have to like you know be super talented or anything to do Okay, so now I can move on to the fun part. I have been looking forward to doing this part since I started. And that is doing the, they've got little mushrooms on them. And yeah, I just really can't wait to just paint all the little mushrooms. That's what I'm gonna be doing now. So, yeah. Okay, so for my colors, I'm just using an old like, lid off a Chinese takeaway tool so I'm just gonna like put my colours in and probably water them down because I do prefer that's cookie <laughs> that's cookie say hi um so yeah I do prefer to just water my colours down slightly um just because I, I prefer to go for washes more than like a solid colour because I feel like sometimes the colours can <laughs> the colours can be um just too thick. Kinda of leaves like a weird texture and can sometimes leave brush marks. So I'm gonna be using the Pure Red by Pure Red by Army Painter. So I'm just gonna pick out some mushrooms and do them red. And I think I might put like I was thinking about putting um mummy robes just as like little dots little dots all over so i've just watered that down just slightly and then i'm just gonna go and pick out some of the mushrooms Yeah, I'm just going to go around and pick out some red mushrooms and I'll catch back with you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so yeah, I have just picked out a few, a few of the mushrooms and just done them red. So I'm going to do the white dots on them now. 
which I think will be really fun. I reckon it will be a challenge, but I think it will be fun as well. The paint I'm going to use is Mummy Robes by Arm Painter. So yeah, I'm just going to paint some little dots on the uh, the mushrooms. I'll go for this one on top of his head. It looks quite easy to do. That actually looks really cute. I'm actually really proud of that. So yeah, I'm just going to do it on the rest and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so I've done a, f a few of the mushrooms red. I've got some little white dots on them as well. So I think I'm going to pick out some as yellow now and I might even do some purple ones because that sounds really fun. Or even blue. I could do blue. So yeah. So for the yellow again I'm using um, army paint. I'm using demonic yellow just because it's really bright and colourful and for my figures I want them to be very colourful and kind of in your face sort of thing. So I'm just going to pick out a few mushrooms, do them yellow. So yeah, I'm just going to paint these yellow and then I'll catch back with you guys in a moment. Okay guys, so I've done a load of the yellow and I've just gone and grabbed a crystal blue and a worm purple and I'm going to be adventurous and put those two as mushrooms, like little magical mystery mushrooms. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now and I'll film that for you guys so yeah okay guys so I did forget to record myself doing some of the blue but that's just what I've done so far forgot to press record I would wouldn't I <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna carry on doing some blue and then I'll catch up with you guys in a moment Okay guys, so the next thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do all the sort of like vegetation and leaves all over his back. So just there. And I'm going to do his eyes green and his mouth green because I think that will look really cool. Like a glowing green. So I'll start filming some of the vegetation and then I'll finish it off camera just because it will take time. So yeah. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with this Goblin Green by Army Painter and then I'm going to go over it with Jungle Green as a dry brush. So I'm just going to get that just for the vegetation. You don't need nothing too good. I'm just going to be careful around the mushroom. And then the rest I'm just going to sort of paint on. I mean, hopefully I paint. You know, what else? What else am I doing? But yeah, so just go over all the vegetation. Okay, guys. So I've just done all the vegetation on his back, and I'm just gonna dry brush that with jungle green, just to make it a bit more, just to make it a bit more colourful and vibrant because that's the look I'm going for. So I'll catch back with you guys in a moment once that's done. Okay guys, so I have just done all the vegetation and done a dry brush. So all I've got left to do really is the eyes and the mouth. Done all the vegetation. Just gonna crack on with the eyes, get that finished. And then my slightly of varnish. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys after I've done the eyes. Okay guys, so I've pretty much finished the painting, so I think I'm going to go on to a varnish now. Maybe a wash, but I really like the way it looks at the moment. So it might just be um, a, just a matte varnish, but I'll go and grab it. And then I'll decide 
in a moment what I'm going to do. Okay guys, so I've finished all the painting on my little tree man. He's all done. Very colourful, very bright. And now I'm just going to... I'm just going to put a brown wash over. So this is... I have a, just a homemade brown wash here. Oh, also guys, by the way, I did paint the top of his head because... I just realized off camera that the top of his head is like the inside of a log so I just painted it like a yellow ochre color and then put like a just a dry brush of pale primrose over just to make it look more natural so I'm just gonna grab some wash put it in the lid Don't put too much on I'm just gonna just push it in I suppose uh, just scrub it in I'm just scrubbing it in just so, so that it gets in all the recesses and just so it really covers it well and then later I will be just varnishing it with just a matte varnish okay guys so my tree man is now all brown washed and he's looking good I really like that brown wash actually it's um it's like quite subtle it's not like too harsh and it's not like eradicated every bit of bright and colorful or detail or anything like that so now i'm gonna go in with the vallejo matte acrylic varnish she got like a decent sized tub or bottle even <laughs> so i'm just gonna load up my brush with varnish just crack on this varnish is actually really good um I have used it for some other minis that I've of that I've painted and then um, dries really nice like really properly matte which is like definitely the look I go for to be honest I could have left him as he was because the wash is quite matte too because it's got like a matte medium in and that's him varnish so I'll leave him to dry and then I'll show you guys the final results so that is it guys that is my first tree man completed I will be completing the rest um I'll be posting the results on Instagram and showing you guys but that's him that's him completed I absolutely love him I think he's really colorful and bright and I just think they're just gonna look great I will be basing them in the next video so look out for that that'll be on Friday 5 p.m. Um, and I might even on the little bit of green here I might even put some scatter roll over it see about that on Friday on Friday's video so yeah guys so thank you so much for watching please leave me a thumbs up subscribe click the bell notification to get no click the bell to get notifications even um and follow me on instagram my instagram will be here um leave me a comment if you want i will be replying to comments um so yeah that's it guys that's thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one way too long talking about brushes then. Gotta beat the devil out of it, like Bob Ross used to say.